I, public, I, uh, the public is not happy with you. The public is not happy with the performance of the roads ministry. That is that is a fact. Are you willing to bear political responsibility for this? I, I am already bearing political responsibility, not are willing you, to. Are you willing? I to am already doing it. Will you, step, it. As, will you step aside? For for not getting money. For not delivering. No, no. If I if I had the money and not deliver, definitely I would take responsibility. The responsibility of raising the money and budgeting for it is not in our ministry. It's like telling the Minister of Finance, step aside for not being able to finance all the projects that are in the country. Or telling Parliament, resign because they did not put money to Minister of Roads. If you, once we get the budget and we raise these resources, and you know, Eric, I know this show had been very short, but there are other areas that we've raised more money, especially in the transport sector. Okay. And, I, and, I, and I think the, one of the reasons why... So you think... What, one of the reasons why... You think you, you deserve to stay in this ministry it is not minister. it is not in my you it think is not, you it, deserve it is stay. not yes but it is not in my place to determine whether i stay or not and by the way but many you people, feel your uh, conscience tells you ah uh, not just not just 50 percent, 200 percent. you deserve the position you hold my conscience tells me that i have done not that i deserve i appreciate because there are many kenyans who deserve okay the, the point is my conscience tells me clear i have worked over 200 percent to achieve this and That's i it. really hope eric let me say this for Good. kenyans to appreciate this i really hope that in the next show or next discussion nobody wants to take the conversation in my ministry to the transport department nobody wants to say that we have increased uh, uh, the performance of the port the investment we've done in Dongokundu. nobody talks that the first time in the republic of kenya a fast ship uh, docked in Lamu port that has carried goods to uh, uh, Ethiopia to cut us of our work. The business from Mombasa has increased the TUs from 1,400 to now 2, 000, uh, 2 million, 2 mil for 1.4 million to 2 million TUs. Nobody wants to say that in Kisumu now, we are using our Kisumu port because we have a new uh, 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 transport of uh, uh, petroleum yeah, by yeah, sea. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to talk about the pirates yes, in Omba Bay. Nobody there. wants that. Because, because want. nobody wants to speak about my success and the success of this administration in two years to turn around the transport sector. What I have done in the aviation we sector, ended there. what I've done in the port, we ended what there. I've done in the rail, you want to end it because you know we the only there. small corner it's of my ministry, which nine. is, no, That's I'm saying, we want to end the small, it. The, the small problem you. we have in the roads should not cloud the achievements, massive achievements we've done in the transport sector. Waziri, thank you. Kipchimba Mulkamen, Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport.